What do you do when you want to prove evolution? Well, you use fossils. You show the person you're trying to convince fossils from the past, and then hopefully they will understand what you're trying to show them. But what are your options if you're trying to find proof that the Earth is billions of years old? What can you show people that would be undeniable proof? What are your options? Take a look and see if you can find the proof that the Earth is way older than 6,000 years old. Go ahead, look carefully. I know it's not easy to find, but can you see it? Way out there, somewhere, in the distance. Keep looking. Oh well, you missed it the first time. Try to see it now. Can you see it? They are called Laurentian Mountains. I know they don't look like much more than hills, but they are actually a few thousand feet high. The smallest one is around 2400 feet, and the tallest one, Mount Raoul Blanchard, is 3825 feet tall. I know that does not compare much compared to uh, the Himalayan mountains, but there's a difference between the two. The Laurentian Mountains are among the very oldest mountains in the world. But how much time does it take for a mountain to erode like this? They are purported to have been as tall as the Himalayan mountains, which means they went from a height like this to a height like this one. That's an awful lot of erosion. Imagine for a second a mountain starting off looking like this and ending up like these. That's a big change. But how can this be? Scientists are telling us that Mount Everest is growing 2.4 inches every year. That's using GPS technology. So how can Mount Everest grow while the mountains of eastern Quebec be eroding and getting smaller and smaller all the time? What's going on? Long ago, the Indian continent crashed into the Southwest Asian continent. But it kept going and going and it's still going today. Crushing and rumpling the earth crust and therefore making the mountains grow taller all the time. This is not happening in North America. And here's where you'll find Mount Raoul Blanchard, the tallest peak of the Laurentian Mountains. Right smack in the middle of this mountain range is a lake 28 miles across by 21 mile wide. This is where I grew up. I grew up on the shores of this lake, so I know this area very, very well. The lake is beautiful and is a source of life and great fishing. But if you turn your back to the lake, somewhere in the distance, the mountains are not all that far. And the ground is not very deep. It doesn't take long before the mountains take over. The mountains are everywhere, and when there's no mountain, you often find boulders sticking out of the ground, all nice and polished, and they're enormous. Now, how can all those mountains erode over only 6,000 years? They're made of granite. They're hard. They're solid. It doesn't happen over thousands of years. I'll never believe that. It happens over hundreds of millions of years. 
These mountains, according to science, are 1.1 billion years old. We who have lived from winter to summer to winter in the shadow of these little mountains, we all know that they are millions and millions and millions of years old. We don't need geologists to tell us that. And we laugh at people who try to tell us the world is only 6,000 years old. 